record. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Cool. I am here with Abigail. Hi. I'm Abigail. I'm chair of BiPride UK. Tell me, what is BiPride UK? BiPride UK is a charity. We create celebratory spaces for people attracted to more than one gender. And part of that, one of the things we do is we put on our own Pride event. We also work with prides across the country to help them become more inclusive of white people. And we're about to launch an online magazine as well called Unicorn. In oh about <laughs> two weeks ish, depending on deadlines. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's coming soon as well. Really exciting. It's all about creating physical spaces but also creating virtual spaces, getting by visibility out there as much as possible, making sure that reaching out to mainstream media, we're getting as much visibility out there as we can, and making sure that it's really kind of prominently by in, in the world that we're in. So you just had the big Buy Pride UK event yeah. this month. Can you tell me a little bit more about that for people who haven't heard? Sure. Uh, so it was uh, three weeks ago in Hackney in London. We had uh, 1,300 people attend, which was, as far as we know, the biggest buy event, a uh, buy specific event that's ever happened in the world, which is so exciting. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. We had uh, two stages, one stage with performers throughout the day, so artists and uh, comedians and singer-songwriters and a theremin performer, because why not? <laughs> um, and then we had another stage where we had panels and speakers throughout the day touching on loads of different issues around the, the bi community, so um, being a person of colour and bi, being trans and bi, um, by, uh, being bi as an older person, um, all sorts of different um, intersections of identities as well. And that was a really popular stage. We were packed the whole day. We had to sometimes turn people away from that room because there was That's so incredible. many people in it. So it's educational, but also there was performance exactly. and entertainment. Yeah. Too. We wanted to make it celebratory, but it also needed to be educational because it's great to be celebrating by identities, but pride is also a protest, and it always should be. And the more of that educational side of things we can get into things the better because we can't change things until we understand things better. Uh, there's a really, I think, a really powerful balance of, of that side of things. And it was the first time in the UK that there's ever been a pride space that is specifically for our community. And you can't understate the value of that, I think. And it's just the beginning. It yes, really is, yep. Next year, watch this space. Yep. And a little bit more about how you got involved in the community when you started. Sure, in. yeah. So I've uh, been involved in um, lots of different kinds of activism over the years. Um, I was originally involved in quite a lot of um, religious activism, so mm -hmm. through my uh, Jewish community um, and through student activism on campus. And then I started getting more involved with general LGBT activism through a Jewish LGBT charity. All of that just kept telling me how much more important it was that there were by kind of specific programs and, and really a focus on those issues that I just wasn't seeing and a lot of us weren't seeing. And then I met this really amazing person called Hannah Rose Tristram. She had the idea in the summer of 2016 after going to quite a few prides where she didn't feel included that we needed to have Absolutely. a buy pride and what does that look like. So we were introduced and we made it happen. Well that's amazing. You guys have done so much here in the UK that we're hearing about it in California. <laughs> Well, it's and just amazing it's, that you're able to come over for one of our fundraising events, one of our oh, earliest absolutely. events. That was amazing. Any time. It's incredible. And the community here is just so supportive and everybody's so kind and lovely mm. and encouraging. Yeah. It was, really great. It was, well, it was wonderful to have you back then and we can't wait to have you in the future <laughs> as well. Very excited. Where can people find Buy Pride UK online? Yeah. So we have a website, buyprideuk.org. Um, and Unicorn, our magazine, will launch through that website as well. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, oh my gosh. it's going to be great. And then we're on social media, uh, Facebook and Twitter, by Pride UK. Um, and on Instagram, we are Unicorn Zine in preparation for the magazine. There's loads of ways to get involved. We're just starting to plan for next year already, planning for how many prides we go to, planning our own pride, all of those things. So we need volunteers across the UK. Our, uh, volunteers. 
volunteers, lots of volunteers. Um, our volunteers are spread across the UK. The location is not a problem. Um, all of our volunteering is remote, so we do conference calls and phone calls and video calls and things like that. Um, so yeah, get involved um, in our events team, in our comps team, in our everything team really. Um, so yeah, we need lots of people to keep the momentum going. Um, and uh, yeah, can't wait to hear from all of you wonderful people. Yeah, so we'll see you all at Buy Pride UK next year and yes. please check out their pages and their new magazine. Until then. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That was fun. <laughs>